food salad. Let me see yours, Carl. Just paid five pounds for each pot, and a seagull's just nicked two pound fifty's worth off me. I'm not here. Right away, they knocked it off. Beautiful. On the pier. Absolutely stunning. I just love it. Ice cream time. It's like raspberry cake. That is. Yeah. Very rough and ready, aren't they, today? I do love them, though. Look at them. Please, please, can I have some? Oh, he said I'm taking it. Brilliant. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Right guys, it's Tuesday. Um, we're just in the car. I've just finished uh, filming a Tuesday video flower, flower um, haul uh, that you will have already seen. And me and Carl are in the car. There he is. Hello. Uh, in the car and we are on a little journey looking for some trainers for Carl. So. I'll just turn the camera around now and um, give you a little, a little view. Oh, he's limping like me. Mm. I bet he's got a um, tennis leg. That's what they call it, tennis, tennis leg. leg. Yeah. Tennis players get it. <laughs> So, oh, we're doing a cheeky move. And it's a hot one, guys, but as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. It's not a cloud in the sky. I hope it's like that for everyone where you are too. Right, so I'll switch off and I'll join you back in a bit. Just thought I'd show you this view. Right over there, there is Manchester. And I don't know if you can see beyond that black blob, which is there, is all the buildings. You can see the Hilton there. I'm going in the lift now. We're just on our way back home and uh, just stop for, to get some chicken because I'm going to show you a nice uh, Turkish kebab uh, recipe. Um, I'm going to marinate it overnight so I'll do it today and then we'll eat it tomorrow so I'm going to show you um, how I do it and it's completely fat free as well guys, really healthy. So right now we are sat outside lost and found. This is where uh, 
excuse our gentleman. This is where uh, they film some of the Real Housewives of Cheshire in there, but they put big flames outside and all that and make it all fancy. But it's a really nice place. Right, so, so yeah, so I'll, I'll show you that recipe. Really nice, healthy Turkish kebab, uh, packed with flavour, and um, I'll show you how I marinate it later. And when we get back home, I'm going to show you a few bits that we've picked up, and I bought a lovely dress from H&M, yeah. okay, and I'll show you that, I'll try See it on. Ready, okay, see right, you guys. So, I'm back very hot and very breathless so I'm just going to show you Carl's trainers that he picked up from JD Sports so he's got these for work just some black black puma really quite nice they're in the sale then really quite a nice trainer then um, let me see how much you paid yeah they were in the sale and they were 40 pounds really nice not bad for 40 quid are they nice um quite lightweight as well they're just for his, his work and then he picked up some adidas um zx 750s and i like him in these he picked up those just suede and then that material uh, with three stripes but a nice summer one and they were 80 pounds so that was Carl and then on the sale rail we picked our son up a t-shirt You can tell how I am, can't you guys? And we picked it up for, I think it was a fiver. Five pounds, it's a Mackenzie black. Just a plain black t-shirt, but with Mackenzie across the front in uh, that kind of rubbery, that rubbery material. And I got it in a size large for him and it was reduced from 20 to 12 and then to five. So... Yeah, got that in a large. So that was for him. And then for me, I picked up, because if they're having treats, guys, I need one. So I picked up this beautiful dress that I'm going to try on in a minute. And I will show it you. I just love the pattern on this. It's just gorgeous. And it's uh, elasticated across here. And then you've got these thin thin straps and that was 12.99 now on the rack they had the this style in um white just plain white then they had white with blue flowers just small blue flowers not masses just dotted about they had this they had a black and they had a yellow um but it was this that caught my eye because in there you can wear there's there's a few different colors in there you've got your greens you've got your blues You've got your neutrals. And I thought, yeah, that'd be lovely. Now, I thought, oh, those wedges. But actually, I can't wear wedges at the minute because of my, my leg. So, uh, Kate Spades. I'll wear them with Kate Spades. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off and then I'm going to uh, show you in the mirror. But I haven't got my tripod or anything like that because it's not a try-on as such. Um, and I've got my big fan down there, even though it should be on right now. Uh so yeah, behind me is a bit of a bit of a mess going on. So I'll be right back. Guys, that's the dress. I really like it. I don't think I'd wear I think I may take that uh off. Because I don't think it's see-through. Uh but it is quite a bit, it's large this is. Uh, and I'm not sure how they do their sizings, but I think I could get away with a medium. But I still like it and I know that if I pass that to my mum, she can put a little stitch in um, just to bring it in a little bit. But it is really lovely. Right guys, 
I'm gonna do the chicken kebab marinade. So in there, I have got 650 grams of raw chicken diced. Then I'm gonna add some fat-free natural yogurt. Now the recipe follow, uh, the recipe calls for whole milk Greek yogurt, but I don't use that, I use fat-free, and it wants a cup, calls for a cup of, uh, so I've got my measuring cup, calls for a cup, but I, I, I'm just gonna gauge it. I don't think I'm gonna use a cup, guys. So a cup, but if you're gonna follow the recipe, a cup of, you see, I think that's enough. Uh, for what I want it for. So, in that goes. And I know I'm not ready. Carl, can you get me some uh, ketchup, please? And then, uh, I'm just going to salt and pepper it. It does call for uh, tomato ketchup, please. Tomato ketchup? Yes, please. And it does call for salt, but it calls for come on, my kosher salt. But I'm just going to use my own sea salt and I go for about 10 of them. And the same with the pepper. And yeah, just do a couple more because there's not a lot in there. Uh, how much? How much ketchup? Two, two tablespoons of ketchup. So I've got my measuring. There's one. There's two. Out because I'll be using it again. Uh, so we've got the ketchup, the pepper, the salt, the chicken, the fat free yogurt. We've got six uh, minced cloves of garlic. We have got Tablespoons, I think. Is it two tablespoons of? No, it's one tablespoon. It says Aleppo red, uh, Aleppo red pepper flakes, but I just put crushed chilies in. So, tablespoon of that, uh, and then I have got one teaspoon of paprika, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And you may not think that you'll get much off that cinnamon, but it really does. That's that. And then all to do is to put lemon juice in. I think, I think it's three tablespoons of lemon juice, you know, guys. Yeah, three tablespoons. Two to three, it says. Well, I like to go three. So I've already squeezed some lemons. One. Two. Three. And I'll just leave that and I'll have that later in some water. And now here's the messy part. I like to get my hands in. And I use this, I, I leave this all night overnight ready for tomorrow's evening meal and then it'll go on the barbecue on some metal skewers on the on the barbecue and that's about it so I'll cover it next 
It really is one of the tastiest kebabs I've ever eaten and so much so we have it quite a lot so I'm going to cover it up next and then put it in the fridge uh, overnight and then I'll come back with it being cooked and I'll show you. <laughs> He's so cute isn't he? He's having peanuts, mealworms and seed. What are you laughing at? Why are you laughing? You went so cute in it, you went not really. <sighs> Pidgey Widgey. And he's, and he's got a little limp. I don't think that's Pidgey Widgey. It is Pidgey Widgey. Where's his limp? He's limping. Look at him. Super cute, and here's another little Alfie. Don't know why I say that because he's deaf. He might hear the eye pitched. Like he hears that. Right, I'm going to water the plants. And now he's up there. There we go. He's come onto the flat roof. Hopefully he'll come onto the... <whistles> Don't go to him, Carl. There he is. There he is. He's so cute. He's adorable. We whistle him when he comes. I doubt he's going to jump on your hand, Carl. Jumps on my neck and gets me in again. Scarecrow. <laughs> Get off your head. Right, guys, I've just uh, made up some kebabs. I've got some there too. Uh, and I've still got some mixed there. And I'm just going to put these on the Barbie and then I'll show you. And they'll be going in my bowl of salad. So. It's Wednesday today guys and um, I haven't done much filming at all because it's just too hot. I've been mizzy, <laughs> grumpy because it's very hot. My legs have been playing up and um, oh what I did do though, oh, I changed that dress to a medium, uh, the one that I got from H&M. So um, we're going to Colwyn Bay tomorrow uh, just to sit on the beach. I've just made us, when I made salad for tea i've just chopped a salad up in a little ice cream tub so i won't be complaining when i get there that there's nothing fresh um so yeah so when i come back in a in a minute i'll show you the cooked uh kebabs they're so nice guys and the the i'm gonna put the recipe in the uh, description box below and the recipe like i said calls for full fat um yogurt and uh calls for oil too but i don't put the oil in and i don't put the full fat yogurt in so it's literally a fat free um, but really super flavorsome um turkish kebab so nice um 
so I'll put that in the description box below if you're interested in trying it out it's so so tasty um, and uh, so yeah so I'll see you to uh, face to face I'll see you tomorrow and right now I'm just waiting on my kebab oh I'm gonna have some halloumi as well it's just way too hot I'm under an umbrella and there's not even any shade off that Are we most Brits? Right, okay, guys. <laughs> Hope you're all having a lovely day. Uh, I think we need a good thunderstorm, and I think by the time we do see the rain, which I think is coming Friday, Saturday, something like that, allegedly, uh, we're all gonna perhaps you know even smile about it. Do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you the kebabs when they're done. And then I'll sign off for today and I'll be back uh, tomorrow, Colwyn Bay. Okay, see you later. And there's mine, guys. Kebabs. I'm just going to take them off the skewer, put them into my bowl of salad that I've got French dressing on uh, from, uh, from Asda balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, the French man next door told me to get that so I did <laughs> I've got some uh, pickle chilies because I love a pickle chili there's my kebab a little bit of hummus so I'm going for my tea now guys and that was Wednesdays oh and there's Carl looks like I'm looks like I'm greedy because I've got three oh you've got one two and a half in a minute yeah right <laughs> So that's them and that's that recipe. Thursday guys. And we're at Colwyn Bay. We just got here and we've called for our favourite fish and chips. And we're sat. Oh, I was moving the camera to show you. I'll show you now. We're sat on the beachfront, it's really quite busy. Um, I'll show you now. There's Carl on the wall eating his fish and chips. It's too up for me. And there's the fish and chips. We go to this one every time. So. So I don't think, guys, fish and chips on a, on a day like today was a great idea. Should have saved it till tea time. It's a scorcher. So we're going for ice cream. And um, and then we found a nice little piece of beach and we're parked right outside it so I don't have to walk with my leg. And um, we're, we're gonna get our chairs out and sit down, maybe dip our toe although I'll rest my leg instead so we're going for ice cream now so just be warned don't have fish and chips on a hot day like today <laughs> bad idea I know <clears throat> Carl says this is what old people do guys get, get the get the garden chairs to the beach Get one of them swing chairs. <laughs> swing chair out the garden. The swing chairs. The chairs you get like the swing on from the canopy. It's quite hazy, isn't it? There's nothing clear. Like the view over there. It's hazy down to the sea, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's quite hazy. Lovely though. We've had our ice cream now. We've had our ice cream. I had chocolate, chocolate chip, and Carl had Turkish delight. And uh, it's really quite nice. We're quite stuffed now after the fish and chips and stuff. And I'm really quite tired. So. We've plunked ourselves here and we're not going to move, so I don't know how interesting this day will get, guys, for you.
but um, if we do anything else, I'll, I'll come back to you. Hope you're all having a lovely day. And I think this will be my last day of vlogging and I'll put it up tomorrow, which is Friday, because I think, I suspect I've got a bit of fibro fatigue coming. Plus I've got a bad leg and I need a rest tomorrow. So, so if we do anything else, I'll come back to you. Nice and relaxed, Carl. Yeah. I can't even see what I'm filming. <laughs> yeah, you look it. Can't beat the sound of a seagull. We've come to press that in we've just been to rill actually and to poundland and i'll show you that later um there's some kids down there having a bit of a party and we are just about to get stuck into our salad with our ham with our french dressing it's lovely guys oh Water's quiet. Excuse my flip flops in my hand. Ugh. This water's quite, it's quite dirty, and I don't know whether that's because it's bringing sand in or whether it is dirty. The further you go that way, the bluer the water gets, but it's always brown Ugh, this end. But the water is so warm. And there's a group of people over there, and they're stood up, but they're quite far out. So it's still quite shallow. I like that uh, horizon with the sun glistening on it. So you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> jellyfish on the beach up there. Yeah, too, it's lovely, warm, oh, and it's lovely and warm. Just dirty. Sandy, Sandy then. I like to see what's coming in. <laughs> and I think the tide is coming in. been out all day hasn't it so yeah just wanted to quickly show you that that hill uh, is where my dad's hilltop heaven is now I can't see but I'm gonna point to it which is obviously not there so it's there where my dad is. So that's where he is. It's coming in fast, isn't it? Come on. 
for a jellyfish. Leave it. Yeah, and watch if it, that seed pushes it up. And there's a tiny one. Gosh. Monstrous. I don't know. Right guys, so it's Friday today and I'm just finishing up with you know the video so this is a pair of shorts oh, pair of shorts from pep and co it's what i got yesterday in real um they didn't have the ones i wanted because i wanted them a little bit longer however these are perfectly fine quite dark in color but they were only six pounds uh six pounds they're a size 14 and they're really quite comfortable you know um, I wouldn't say super high waist, but you know, it's high enough for me. So that's those. And I've just put it with a white t-shirt, uh, cause it's only casual wear for me. Right. So then I, I'm just going to show you, um, show you, I can't even film like this. Show you a dress. Actually, guys, I've just come back with this nighty because I managed to pick one of these up. I've got these, this one in the pajamas, the the shorts and the top set, and I actually really love the pattern. So I picked the nighty up, and this was four pounds, size twelve to fourteen, um, and it's perfectly fine for me. Uh, really like these nighties from Pep and Co. Uh, cotton. So that was this, and now I'm gonna come back with a dress. I love this dress, guys. It's one of those really comfy styles, bardo. Uh, I mean, you, you you could have it up, but I won't, I'll have it, sorry guys, I'll have it bardo. But look at the pattern and the colors. It's almost like on a purpley brown background, but you've got oranges. You've got pinks, you've got lilacs, you've got deep purples. It really, really is a lovely, lovely top dress, <laughs> even. I love it. So easy to wear, so loose as well, so cool. And this was, believe it or not, six pounds. Six pounds, that's all it was. And it's got a lovely double layer on the sleeve as well. I don't know if you can see, I can't. I don't like filming like this, not try-ons anyway, guys. Yeah, it's got a double layer on the on the sleeve, can you see? Which is lovely. It's just lovely. I love the colours. It reminds me of a um, hand-me-down dress that I got from my eldest sister, Mandy, when I was little. Uh, the colours, that is, not the style. It was a drop-waist style, um, what I got handed down. And I didn't like it on my sister, but I loved it on me when I got it. But yeah, that's what the colours remind me of. So yeah, absolutely love this. Um, and I did get some unmentionables, guys. Wait a minute, let me tell you. Yes, guys, so sorry about the way that I've done that little try on. It's just that I didn't want to have to set the tripod up and all that sort of stuff, because I was only trying a few things on. But, you know, Pep & Co, I really like them. Them jeans, them short jeans, they're really comfortable. Uh, they're not tight, they're not restricting. They're really nice and comfortable. Um, the dress is gorgeous, I absolutely love it. Look, I just love those colours. What do you think, guys? Got the lighting's a bit. Can you see now? Beautiful colours. Um, so I look forward to wearing that. So anyway, I picked up these unmentionables three pairs five pounds does anybody know why they are more expensive in that nude color because that's what i've been finding and i'm not entirely sure 
but I was so surprised when I first started wearing them, you know, because I, I asked, didn't I? I was like, do they work? Well, yeah, they do. And I'm really gobsmacked. So as much as I dislike the colour, I've gone and bought another three pairs. So that's five pairs I've got now um, because I have got a few things that are um, see-through that actually when you put those on, there's nothing there. It, you just look, it looks good. It's great. So that's the end of this one, this vlog, guys. I hope, really hope you've enjoyed it. You know, I've put together little bits and pieces of what me and Carl got up to. And um, while he's had a week off, um, I think our next trips out will be when we go on holiday. Um, and um, so that that is definitely, I don't think I'll be vlogging um, until then, actually. Maybe, you, you never can tell. But if you did like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, it'd be lovely to have you here. And um, thanks so much for watching. And I know it's probably gonna be quite a long one because by the time I've edited this now and put it all together, I will try and, you know, keep it as, as um, snippy as possible. But I really hope you enjoy it, guys, because, you know, I have enjoyed making it. And the point was, I didn't want to be tied to that table, you know, uh, while I'd got Carl, uh, while I could enjoy his company, really, because that's what I have done, believe it or not. And we bicker like cat and dog, but I've really enjoyed um, his company. Um, so thanks so much for watching. You all take care and I will see you. I'm not sure what I'm coming back with. But I know that I am, I have got a collaboration coming up as well. So keep your eyes peeled for uh, all to come. But I should be back Tuesday. But I'm not entirely sure what I'm coming back with. It could be anything. <laughs> you know me, guys. Um, so take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.